Beth is always seen as one of two things, the friend of Lindsay or the undeserving winner of season two. Whatever camp you're in, I'm sure it's easy to know where you fall. Just look at an image of Beth, if it causes the same reaction as staring at maggots, you're in the second category. Beth is very polarizing. Like, for every nine people I hear say that she didn't deserve to make it to the finale over Lindsay, there's one person saying they like her. Is she hated for any good reason? No, not really. They just say that she didn't deserve to make it and point out Lindsay or Harold as a better finalist, and I can see Lindsay. Apparently she was supposed to be the canon winner, and it makes sense since she kinda runs the whole show until her elimination. Which, the less I talk about that, the less angry I become. But Harold gets his character shot so hard I can't tell if they wanted him to join Trent in character assassinations. My version of Harold would never vote Lashana off when it's much better to vote for Courtney or Duncan, you know, the people who bullied him for a season and a half. But that's just my incoherent rambling about my thoughts as I'm re-watching action to make sure it's fresh in my brain since this is the ninth episode and that means I only have 11 videos of this to make for Island, not including any bonus characters I want to do or any bonus videos on Island. With that, I have stalled long enough, let's get into the video. Beth is in a bad situation, with her having zero alliances currently on the team as she broke up the alliance with Heather in the last episode. Though this is a great chance for Beth to not reveal her totem from Boney Island or Hell, just be there with the group to begin with? If I have one change allowed per episode and it's between changing an event or using a different version of the character, I'm making Beth not grab the totem. So Heather is also very good at deflecting the blame for her losses, but I don't know if it would hit the same weight with Heather blaming Owen for losing the challenge. And yes, Owen is a huge detriment to the group, but I don't think Heather can sneak away with this one. Episode 11 goes mostly the same with DJ messing up and Sadie being eliminated. Episode 12 goes mostly the same with Courtney being eliminated, though Lindsay and Beth have a lot of bonding time together to be in an alliance together again, and they talk about how much they hate Heather. Episode 13, Killer Bass win, because Heather isn't there to distract Harold, and I think Owen would honestly get eliminated here, because he was a huge detriment in this episode. Merge is here, Izzy and Eva returning, Eva gets eliminated, and that's episode 15 done. Episode 16, and after I didn't get to do it with Izzy or Cody, I'm glad I get to do my favorite part again. Whenever Heather is gone, I let a random name picker choose from the new contestants, and the winner gets Heather's key, which gives immunity. And this time, I only have two new contestants, the smallest amount in the history of the series, and it's between Beth and Harold, and Beth is chosen. There's two major targets here. First is Izzy, for being too chaotic for people to like, and Harold, for being an absolute dork. But what if subversions were made here, and the girls team up to vote out Duncan since he is the biggest threat here? That gives them six votes, and even if Izzy is temperamental, Beth could easily get Harold on board with voting out Duncan. Episode 17, and I feel like the girls would say they want to put Jeff up for elimination since he's the most popular guy, and Bridget would say no to that, which makes her a target and eliminated by Trent, DJ, and Harold, as everyone else is too scattered to make a huge impact. Episode 18, and nobody besides Lindsay crosses the line, and since she has immunity and nobody else even made it close, Chris just decides to put both Lashana and Izzy up for elimination, as neither one of them competed, and Izzy is voted out. Episode 19, and DJ would get eliminated as in canon, as even though Heather isn't here to scare DJ, DJ is notoriously bad with anything scary. Episode 20, and this is hard to really say who makes the biggest mistakes, as Izzy was a clear choice to eliminate, but why not swap one bad elimination with another? Beth, Lindsay, and Harold vote Jeff, and Lashana is able to be convinced to join, as Lashana is a huge fan of voting for anyone that isn't her. Episode 21, and I feel lucky, since the teams are easily put together, and I think the team that will win is Trent and Gwen, considering they work well together in episode 16 and are shown to have great chemistry. Harold is smart and Lashana will keep him on track, but I think Harold benefits from being paired with anyone besides Lashana. So with that, I think Beth and Lindsay can convince Harold to vote for Lashana since it has been shown that this is an option he's willing to take as shown in action, though he clearly regrets it right after, and he should have voted either Beth or Lindsay in retrospect. Episode 22, and I think 
Katie and Sadie would say either Lindsay or Gwen's name, but most likely Lindsay considering they just are the same characters except Katie and Sadie have two brain cells instead of one. Episode 24 and the teams are Beth and Gwen and then Harold and Trent. Trent ends up falling for Gwen's trap and betrays Trent to get his supplies and is able to make to the finish line with Harold being obscenely angry at Trent for it. Chef would vote out Trent for overall being the bigger failure, and Gwen regrets her decision as she hoped she would at least get to do a tied vote here for Trent to win. Episode 25, and you know how Owen and Gwen team up against Heather? Well despite her not really deserving it, Harold and Beth would team up against Gwen. And can Gwen honestly make it through the challenges Heather went through? I want to say yes, but when you think about it, what did Gwen actually survive compared to Heather? Now there is one challenge that sticks out in my head time and time again with Gwen, and it's the scene where she drinks fruit juice from a toilet. But afterwards, she looked done. She looked like she needed a stomach pump and three espresso shots to keep going. She just wouldn't be able to handle a bunch of challenges all at once, and I feel like she'd survive Chef's hair treatment, but if they're bringing Owen in to do the challenges Heather did, I don't think Gwen has that drive. To be honest, Heather was the MVP of that challenge and deserved the spot more than Gwen, since she did the more combined severe punishments, but Gwen did the outright most disgusting challenge. It will still come down to the wire, but I honestly think Gwen would forfeit after too much torture being done to her. I mean, you don't just bounce back from what Gwen had to do. This is obscenely tough though, probably the toughest one to call out of all of them. And so, Harold enjoys his third appearance in the finals, making up for all three seasons he was eliminated in. And with his episode in the future, he will have a fourth for his lack of appearance in All-Stars, which he deserved to be in over Sam. Beth and Harold I've always found to be different sides of the same coin, so it's extremely fitting these two are in the finals together. If you think this is contrived, leave those thoughts in the comments, make the day yours, and I'll see you soon with the adverse to Katie, Sadie.